Hi everyone and welcome to Awe Studio. Today I'm going to go over one of the most important things about veil painting and that is you might see a lot of beautifully stretched veil painting papers and if that happens for you you're lucky but more often times than not you're going to get a paper that for one reason or another either it was too wet when you stretch the paper or the tape wasn't drying slowly enough and maybe over time reworking the painting you found that your veil painting is popping off the board so i'm going to show you some simple steps today how you can restretch veil painting paper and continue on with the project and for this you're going to need a few items We'll go over those in a second. Okay, for this project, you're going to need a bucket of clean water and maybe a couple of rags to dry the water up with. You need a brush that you can stroke the clean water onto where we want to get the tape off. And you're going to have to re-stretch the paper, so you're going to need tape and a sponge in order to restretch the paper after we take the paper off the board. And this is fairly simple. I can just pop it off because mine is really coming off. Now yours may not come off that easily. And even if you do get it off that easily, you're going to have this tape left on. And I'm going to show you what you do to get that off. You simply tear away from the veil painting like that. Be sure to pull away from the painting so that you don't rip the painting itself. And remove as much of the tape this way as you can get off without damaging the paper. I want you to get it off all the way around. Now, after you get mostly all of the tape off, you're going to notice that there may be some places where little fragments of tape are remaining. Especially over here, you can see a little bit. So what you do is you take a wet brush and you just paint it on just pure water right there and leave it for five minutes or so and you'll be able to peel that tape right off if you don't then you have to put more water on okay now i'm going to show you how to restretch this paper even though it has a painting on it I'll flip it over because I'm going to start on that side. And I have a sponge here and some clean water. I'm going to dip the sponge right into that clean, warm water. And it's not dripping wet, see? It's just quite moist. And I'll just sponge across the paper like this. Just that simple. Now I'm going to flip this painting over and I'll center it just a little bit here so you can see it. And again, take the sponge, dip it right in the water, and then this time we'll do a quick re-moistening of the painting when you get to the yellow parts, be careful to flip over your sponge so you're not smearing any of the blue into the yellow. Okay, now comes the taping down part. I've already torn off pieces of tape that are for the sides and for the top and bottom. Notice it has a shiny side and a matte side. You're going to be activating the shiny side with the glue. 
For that, you need to take that sponge, dip it in to the water, and then I'm gonna put this down here on the edge of the table. And I take this quite wet sponge and I literally pull that tape right through so it's quite activated and sticky. And then I'm gonna put it down on the painting. It's handy to have a rag at this time because your hands might get wet. You just smooth it down like that. Let's go ahead and do the next side. I'm going to take that tape, put it right on the edge of the table and draw that tape right through a wet sponge, activating all the glue. And then this is gonna go half on, half off. And let's move on to the top and bottom. Make sure I have the glossy side up. And then just glue it down right across the bottom. And you can see here, I need to fold it over on the board. This is a tempered masonite board. And we'll just go ahead and do the top now. Fold it over and let this dry naturally and you'll see that all these ripples will have gone away and I can continue with this veil painting. Please take note that you may need to be aware of little places like that because you want it to stick down. So pay attention while it's drying to keep sticking it down anywhere that you think it might need extra aid. I'll show you what this looks like when it's all dry. Now it's dry and as you can see the tape is sticking to the board everywhere and I haven't had too much trouble although down here looks like there's a little bit that needs to be stuck down better and I want you to notice that the painting itself is kind of like a little drum there now. I don't know if you can see how tight this actually becomes, but the more it dries and the slower it dries, the better results you'll have. So I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you would like to join my Patreon at Awe Studio, we're going to be learning how to paint from the imagination using the technique of veil painting.